I am Scott Larson. I'm the president of the Marshfield Area Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and it is my pleasure to act as master of ceremonies for this ribbon cutting ceremony for the Marshfield Area Pet Shelter. Um, what a great opportunity here. We're so glad that MAPS would have um, allowed us to be part of this 10 year venture here, which started in 2011 with MAPS being formed and, and their fundraisers in 2012 and beyond, and a location in 2013, another one in 2015, and now finally here at this beautiful new, new facility. So um, we want to take the opportunity here to help celebrate on their behalf. And with that, as we start, um, we have a number of dignitaries who will say a few words on behalf of MAPS and the, uh, the new shelter here. Starting off with first, City Administrator Steve Bart. Steve? Thank you, Scott. Um, over the 10 years I've been here, and, and I came here in 2011, the same year that things kicked off with MAPS, I've been uh, had the pleasure of, of being a part of many ribbon cuttings when I fill in for the mayor, and I always enjoy it. It's always great to, to be part of celebrating a, a new business opening or expanding, but I can honestly say, truthfully, in my 10 years here, I've not been more excited to come to one than today. Uh, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Karen Rao was one of the first people I met when I started working here back in 2011, and uh, she had a vision, she had enthusiasm, she had excitement. She started building a, a team of volunteers and supporters in a way that seemed almost like mind-boggling. You know, really, the vision is to end up with something like this. That's a long way from where you're starting, but uh, you know, I'll help you where I can, and I'll wish you well. Uh, the journey brought uh, them through a lot of, of trials, and obviously the whole thing with fundraising and planning and, and pulling together the, the mechanics to, to make this work, just to get off the ground, to be in the mall, and then uh, to be able to work with the city on having that temporary facility at the airport. Uh, back in 2015, and now here we are six years later with this beautiful facility. Certainly the city has played a role. I'm happy to be here on behalf of city staff, the city's elected officials, and everyone connected with the community. Uh, we did play a role in this. We certainly did. We, we worked a lease out for the, the airport terminal building, the former terminal building, and we worked out the sale of this property and a contribution to this project. But all, all the praise for this one goes to everybody who's been associated with this. Uh, and I, I could name a few people that I know, but I leave out like lots of people. So I'm not going there, but you know who you are. Everybody who's been associated in any way with raising money, with you know, volunteering your time, being part of all the work that's gone into this, it's beyond amazing. And uh, you know, you've shown so many great attributes over time. Karen has come to multiple meetings. Not that our meetings aren't fun. You know, they're <laughs> very exciting. But of the finance committee, the council, and you know, sometimes not getting the result that you wanted to hear at that moment. Go back to the drawing board, come back next month, those kind of things. But just the, the determination to work through it all, just unbelievable. And I know there's been so many people behind the scenes, you know, working with her and, and, and building her up and, and getting her to this place. But all the many great attributes that the people associated with MAPS have ever demonstrated, beyond the tenacity and all those things, the number one thing that will always stick out to me is the care and commitment to the animals and their well-being. That just shines about everything else. Anytime I talk to somebody associated with MAPS, uh, from Karen to everyone else that I ever encounter, it's all about the animals, it's about care. It's about providing quality care and, and being a part of something big, way bigger than themselves. And uh, that's so honorable, it's, it's what we're supposed to be about. It's what our society is supposed to be about, but you don't see enough of it. So on behalf of the city of Marshfield, I'm so, again, blessed and honored to be part of this day. And I just uh, thank you for your commitment uh, to the animals, commitment to our community and to, to this great improvement and to serving uh, the city in the way that you do. It's just been more than amazing, and I've been happy that the city has at least been a part of that journey. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Steve. And you're right, the city has played a major role in helping to make this happen, and uh, we, we, we do, from the community standpoint, appreciate the efforts of the city on, on making things like this happen. Up next, representing the Board of Directors of the Marshfield Area Chamber of Commerce and Industry is our Chair, Ron Milchek. Ron? Thank you, Scott. Uh, delighted to be here, and on behalf of Mackey and the Board of director, Directors, I uh, want to uh, congratulate uh, MAPS for turning a dream into reality, and it's uh, difficult to do that. Uh, not many people can say they've done that. Um, you know, what a journey. Ten years, somebody had an idea, and uh, through a lot of hard work and dedication by a lot of people, um, here we are today in front of this beautiful building, and, uh, excuse me, <coughs> Speaking of beautiful building, I understand there's a catio, uh, there's music, uh, there's heated floors, 
Um, this is like the Ritz Carlton of uh, pet shelters. So uh, again, on behalf of Mackie, congratulations, uh, not only for the beautiful building, but also for making a difference for animals in Marshall and surrounding area. So congrats. And thank you, Ron. Appreciate your efforts and the rest of the efforts of the board of directors for Mackie helping us make uh, events like this take place. Well, up next, we have a, a special guest uh, to say a few words, Dr. Roger Crosstead. Oh, thank Come you. on up. Thank you. It's nice to be here. When I first moved to Marshfield in 1981 and started, uh, took over Wildwood Animal Clinic, I looked around for the resource to take care of the animals that were that did not have special care and was surprised that a town of this size did not have a shelter. Time went on and finally finally some wonderful people got together with that idea and put together the uh, the maps organization. One of the things that's very important though is that those animals do receive veterinary care. At that time I did ask our staff and our doctors could we donate our time, our, uh, the doctors donate their time, and our facility donate medications at cost to help along with that process? Little did I know that, that we would be neighbors right over there, Wildwood Animal Hospital and Clinic. Little did I know we would be neighbors, but once they found out that we were going to be neighbors, every time I mowed the, the yard over at Animal Hospital, I'd come over here and mow the little front area also where it was going to, where MAPS is going to be, and now look what we have right here. So it's been a wonderful organization, wonderful people working with it. Uh, we look at that relationship with Wildwood, and they are still helping in that regard, and so uh, it's been a wonderful partnership, I guess you'd say working relationship. We were also a little bit disappointed that we donated two of our technicians <laughs> to this to this effort. They never came back to Wildwood after that. So, but uh, they're doing a wonderful job as well. Thank you very much. Nice to see everybody. Thank you, Roger. And we do appreciate all the work that you've put in, and you're still putting in for all the effort here, and for animals here in Central Wisconsin. Well, we we started to hear more about what's going on. Let's let's get the full story now. Karen Rao, come on up and tell us more about what's going on here with the shelter. Um, what Roger didn't tell you is he retired, but he came out of retirement and he's now volunteering his time at the Humane Society of Portage County to help us get our spays and neuters done here for the, the animals at MAPS. So he didn't mention that, but that means the world to us that he Thank came you. out of retirement to help us. It's a lot of fun. It's also a lot of fun. Retirement's boring. <laughs> um, so I just want to introduce quickly the people that are up here that are going to be standing by the ribbon with me. Um, we have Paul and Joanne Schreiner. Um, they are capital campaign donors. They uh, sponsored the conference room um, in our beautiful new facility, so we appreciate their contribution to our organization. Dr. Krogstead, Dr. K Elizabeth Kanabi also were capital campaign donors to help us get this building. We have uh, Bob Larson, our ordinance officer, humane officer for the Marshall Police Department. Kayla Wolf is here too, come on up. <laughs> Kayla Wolf. And then I have our staff here. Caitlin Loberg is our shelter manager. She's been with us since 2016. Holly Henschke is our medical coordinator. She's been with us since 2018. And then Savannah Bennington, um, she is our animal care assistant who recently started in May. So that's who's up here um, with me to um, be a part of the celebration with us. So, um, so the scoop is, um, 10 years ago this month, an article appeared on the front page of the Marshfield News Herald. The headlines read, no kill shelter in the works. The article explained that the facility would take in stray animals for the city of Marshfield. It also asked residents to come to a public meeting and attend to discuss the plans to build a new shelter. What resulted from that meeting was a small group of strangers who dedicated themselves to seeing this become a reality. Part of what we did is we walked in parades 
We had brat fries, we sat in booths at the fair, anything we could do in the community to generate awareness to our cause. Um, we also, um, hang on, get this. We also had our first fundraiser. We picked up more volunteers at that. It was attended by over 800 people. And it solidified our belief that this community was ready and willing to embrace a pet shelter for the Marshfield community. Um, as our credibility and reputation grew, we sat down with city officials like Steve Barg and discussed our mission for this animal shelter. Um, we had begun by talking about um, the need for the, the shelter and as Steve mentioned, the property that this facility is now built on and the $250,000 donation towards its construction was a result of those meetings. In 2013, um, we found an empty spot at the Marshfield Mall, which became our adoption center. It was our first physical presence in our community, and a lot of people got to know us through that Marshfield Mall location. In 2015, we renovated the old airport terminal building on 29th Street, and that served as our animal shelter. In um, October of that year, we took over the stray contract for the city for the cats and then the dogs in July of 2017. Um, at that time, we were working and operating out of two different locations. So with that being said, all of that was accomplished by 60 dedicated volunteers. We didn't have our first employee until 2016. Uh, we added an employee, one every year until 2019, which results in the four current staff members that we have today. So those 60 volunteers are still pretty active with our organization in one way or the other, and we appreciate everything that they have done to get us to this point. Um, so through the generosity of our community and the sheer determination and dedication of Bill Hiding, $1.2 million was raised to build this big, beautiful new facility, the vision of the late Dan Helwig. So today, we recognize and thank our capital donors, all the donors that support us throughout the year, our business partners, our staff, and our volunteers for making MAPS what it is today. We celebrate the 2,600 animals' lives who have been impacted since 2011, and to the future thousands of animals, this new facility will help in the future. So thank you very much. Now it's the time. So I give you the heavy equipment. Everybody get around get here. Yep. <laughs> line up along the line up along the ribbon. Somebody help me carry this thing. <laughs> Do this on the count of three. Come on in All here. right, yep. Okay. All right. One. Two. Three. All right. And Karen, all the donors, all the volunteers, staff, congratulations on this beautiful facility. We wish you all the best. Thank you for all the work that you're doing taking care of the animals here in the area. Uh, we really do appreciate that. Uh, thank you all for coming here today. This will conclude the ribbon cutting ceremony for the Marshfield Area Pet Shelter. Please do stick around. The tours are available. There's some goodies here um, uh, for refreshments, too, to partake in. So with that... Oh, we do that. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. Our, our red coats are always here. That's part of part of what they do, and so we appreciate that. We'll get the we'll get the photo of them here with the facility, so that they get their credits. So it's the important thing. So, uh, so again, on behalf of the Marshall Area Chamber of Commerce and Industry, uh, this will conclude the Marshall Area Pet Shelter uh, ribbon cutting ceremony. Thank you.